All right, today I have my 1992 Volvo 240 wagon or 245. Um, this is my girlfriend's daily driver right now because her car got crushed by a tree. But I've had this Volvo since March of last year, 2015. And I bought it with 237,000 miles on it. It now has over 250,000 miles on it. And I just plan on keeping this as my daily driver. Um, for the family daily driver. It, uh, it's very clean, in my opinion. Uh, the person I bought it from was an older lady. And I'm trying to keep it somewhat nice. Put in some uh, speakers and aftermarket radio and let's see what else I've done some other little odds and ends maintenance stuff when I bought it just to serve my own peace of mind kind of thing um, AC works heat works everything works and I got this thing for a steal in my opinion it was eleven hundred dollars um, what else have I done back here I've uh, added this horse stall mat. It's from Tractor Supply, it's a quarter inch thick. It keeps the noise down. I've also started to soundproof or sound deaden. I'll show you that in another project. But I did the trunk here area and I basically just took the uh, peel and seal and put it all in the tub here and along the sides there and here. I still have to do the tailgate, but yeah, as you can see, my lab's uh, footprints are all up in this thing. Um, but yeah, it's really clean. Um, I'd like to change the interior out to a charcoal or black interior at some point, or get a custom interior done. Like I said, I don't plan on selling this thing. Excuse the noise. Um, but yeah, it's called DeBrick. I had the tent put on. It needs to be redone. The guy... I just haven't found time to go over there and do it, but yeah, you can see he didn't quite get all the way over right there. And a couple other places there's a little bit of a hiccups, but overall it looks killer. I love the tent look. Um, I do plan on putting different wheels and tires on. Um, what I am planning on doing is uh, taking the 242 GT wheels that were on that 78 project, getting those refinished and put these tires on that and on these steel wheels I'll put some winter tires on it just to give it better you know winter traction not that we get a lot of snow or anything but since I have the wheels might as well do it um let's see yeah interior fairly clean I have to clean it out but we've been getting a lot of rain and snow so it's a little muddy um so future projects for this thing, I'm going to do, I already have the parts, uh, I'm going to do the E-code headlights from FCP, I have those at the house waiting to go on, uh, I plan on putting some fog light, driving lights on here, fog, LED fog lights on here, I bought the Bosch OEM replacements but I just don't think they're going to be bright enough. Uh, for my taste, but I'm going to mount those probably right here where the stock location is aiming down. But yeah, I'm going to get those for the front and the back. I plan on putting, let's see, oh, I'm going to do the rear fog brake light conversion. So like when the brakes come on, the top one here and the bottom, which is the brake, are going to come on at the same time. This is supposed to be rear fog, but I figure I don't need, I don't see the point of rear fog in the United States, so I'm gonna put that as an extra brake light, give it extra stopping power. There is a another brake light right here, but you only see that when it comes on. The tent is uh, 20 percent, I believe, in the back, and then 50 in the front. But I'll I'll get that information once I get the tent refit uh, fixed up again. Um, but yeah, so. Headlights, I want to go ahead and run new speaker wire for all the speakers because the one on the driver's side rear doesn't work. So I'm guessing it's just a pinched wire somewhere. So if I'm going to be in there doing the peel and seal 
I might as well run fresh speaker wire while I'm at it. Um, other things, want to do, you know, change the interior over to charcoal or leather. Um, probably cloth, honestly, but whatever I can get is probably what I'll use. But yeah, oh, and if the engine and transmission never go out, if they ever go out, I will uh, consider doing making this into a sleeper of sorts. Let's open the hood. Um, throw, I'm you know throw in a V8, probably an LS or something like that. Like I was planning to do with the other. Let's see. But yeah, engine's pretty clean. So stuff I've done to it in here. Well, when I bought it, uh, we didn't know what the timing belt had been replaced recently. So I went ahead, did the timing belt, and uh, other things as well. Because when I had it in that summer, uh, it started overheating on really high days when I was at stoplights, and I figured, well, it's only when I'm sitting still, so it's got to be the fan, you know, not working the fan clutch. So I was like, okay, well, I'll do the fan clutch, water pump, and all that stuff. Why I do the timing belt? Well, as I was doing all that, um, I did the radiator. I did everything. I've upgraded, you know, the tropical fan clutch and all that stuff. Anyway, um, and here there is another accessory fan, and that had a bad ground, so that wasn't working, which I'm assuming was the reason for it overheating. But it doesn't overheat anymore. It actually runs pretty. Uh, cold. I put a different thermostat in there, but yeah, it runs beautifully now. Um, so I don't see this thing dying anytime soon. If anything, the automatic transmission will go before this. But engine, things a brick, literally. Um, but yeah, let's see. What else do I plan for this? Probably gonna change out the interior lights to LEDs. Same with the rear brake lights, change those to LED lights. Um, I found a write-up on that. I just got to make sure I get the right bulbs when I do it. And yeah, that's the intro for this Volvo, the brick.